Schengen Visa explained. It is possible that anyone, regardless of the reason why they seek to enter the Schengen area, will be required to get a visa in order to do so, although this will rely on the person's citizenship. If you've never travelled to Europe before, the very first thing you need to figure out is whether or not you need a visa to enter the Schengen area. At this time, citizens of over 60 countries may visit the visa-free region in Europe without having to first acquire a visa, and they can stay there for up to 90 days during a period of six months. This privilege is available to them for a total of 180 days every six months. For you to have unrestricted travel throughout this region, you need to go through the procedure of applying for a European visa. Because of this, you need to exercise extreme caution while submitting your application for a Schengen visa. Continue watching this video, which serves as a definitive manual for applying for a Schengen visa and should be read in its entirety if you have to request for a visa to enter Europe. What is a Schengen visa? A Schengen visa is a kind of short-stay visa that enables travellers to visit any of the countries that are part of the Schengen area for durations of up to 90 days for something like the sake of leisure or business. The Schengen visa is now the most popular option for travellers to Europe. It grants the bearer the ability to access the Schengen region, freely move inside the territory and exit the region through any of the Schengen sovereign states. Within the confines of the Schengen zone, there are no immigration controls in place. If, on the other hand, you want to stay within one of the Schengen nations for more than 90 days for the purposes of studying, working or living there, then you are required to submit an application for a country visa with that European nation instead of a Schengen visa. Because they have free movement and are not subject to border checks within the Schengen nations that encircle them, the three European small states of Monaco, San Marino and also the Vatican City really aren't formally a member of the Schengen area. However, they are regarded to be a part of it de facto. Several national laws use the phrase states against whom border security is not undertaken depending on the Schengen Treaty as well as the 562-2006 EU guideline. This phrase encompasses not just the microstates but also other non-EU regions that have open borders. Because they are not technically a member of the Schengen area, the three microstates really aren't authorised to grant Schengen visas. The only exception to this rule is Monaco. 1. Determine the specific sort of Schengen visa that you need. You may apply for any one of the following categories of Schengen visas depending on the reason or reasons for which you need to visit the Schengen area. Tourist, business, medical, student, transit visa, tourism visa, obtaining a visa in order to visit relatives or friends, corporate visa, visa for participation in cultural and sporting events, visa for state visits, study visa, visa for the purposes of medical treatment. 2. Find out where you have to submit your application. You will be required to submit your application for a Schengen visa at one of the following locations depending on how the country of your destination inside Schengen has controlled the filing of visa applications in your country of residence. Their consular office. One of the consulates that they have. A visa centre, a location for the filing of visa applications that has been contracted out by the embassy of the country that you will be visiting. The embassy or consulate of one of the other Schengen states, the filing of visa applications for which has been outsourced by the embassy of your intended country. We refer to the country in which you are required to submit your application in accordance with the regulations of the Schengen area as your destination country. The following are the rules that apply. If you want to go to just one of the Schengen countries, you must submit your application at the embassy, consulate or visa centre of that single country. If you will be staying an uneven number of days within every country, you should apply for your visa at the embassy, consulate or visa centre of the nation in which you will be spending the majority of your time. If you will be staying the same number of days within every country, you should get your visa from the immigration office, consulate or visa center of the nation that you will visit first. 3. Determine when it is best for you to submit your application. Because it takes the embassies and consulates of Schengen all over the globe some time to complete a Schengen visa application, 
you have a certain amount of time during which you are allowed to submit your visa application. The following time periods are acceptable for submitting an application for a Schengen visa. The earliest that a visa application may be submitted is six months before the beginning of the trip that is being planned. The application for a visa must be submitted no later than 15 business days ahead of the day on which the traveller intends to depart. The request for a visa should be submitted at the very least three weeks before the departure date of the trip. 4. Schedule a meeting Make an appointment for a Schengen visa interview in order to go on with your application. The majority of nations provide an option to schedule an appointment through the internet. In contrast, for other countries, you will be required to schedule the meeting in advance, either at the embassies or perhaps the consular of the country you want to visit. 5. Complete the required paperwork to apply for the visa. You should fill out the application form truthfully and accurately. The application for a visa to any of the Schengen countries must be submitted using the same format as is found on the Schengen visa application form. In order to get a Schengen visa, you will need to provide the latest details on the application form. Your individually identifiable information. Details describing your history, your reason for wanting to enter the Schengen area and any other pertinent information surrounding your travel. Pay close attention to the following pointers in order to successfully finish filling out the form and sending in. Download the most recent version of the registration form since it is the only one that will be approved. Make sure that all of the essential gaps are filled in. You can find outlined and comprehensive directions on how to complete the application form for the visa here. Do not forget to fill up any of the columns. If you believe that there are columns that do not belong to your situation, you should fill them in with the abbreviation N A, not applicable. Make sure you print the form twice before submitting it. At the conclusion, sign both copies of the document. If you are under the age of 18, you must get a written authorization from both of your parents and have them sign it in the appropriate section of the application form. 6. Obtain all of the necessary documentation. The submission of the appropriate papers is an essential component of your application for a visa. Typically, these types of papers are split up into two distinct classes. The first category consists of the generally expected forms of evidence, which are as follows. The application form for the visa. Valid passport. Two images that are exactly the same. Coverage under a travel insurance coverage. Europe Assistance makes it simple to make the purchase using their website. A reservation for a return flight or an itinerary detailing the flight, including the dates and flight numbers that indicate entrance and departure from the Schengen region, is required. Evidence that accommodations were made. Evidence of one's financial capabilities, etc. The second category consists of conditions that are unique to each kind of visa. These papers and the requirements for them change depending on the kind of visa being applied for. In addition, several of the countries that are members of the Schengen area have their own additional conditions that applicants for visas must meet. Check out our list of papers that must be submitted in order to apply for a Schengen visa. This list contains both the general criteria that must be met and the visa-specific requirements that must be met for each kind of visa. 7. Make sure you show up for the visa interview. Make sure that you arrive on time at the location where you will be questioned on the day of your appointment. There, you will have a meeting with a visa consular to whom you will need to provide the papers you have gathered in accordance with the requirements. Throughout the examination, you will be questioned on a personal level on your current location, the trip that you wish to take and other aspects of travel. Make certain that your responses are confident and accurate and that they are in line with the information that is included in the application form as well as the accompanying papers. It is possible that the interview will run between 10 and 15 minutes. The financial criteria are not too onerous, but they do vary considerably from state to state within the Schengen area with differing minimum levels of means of livelihood applicable in each nation. Therefore, it will be simpler to comply with the regulations of certain states than others. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell.